Hi, and welcome to another Tabitha's Glass Emporium YouTube video. Today we're looking at this. This is our IKEA stand we had at Christmas, and it's a summer project. We had a customer who bought one of our Christmas ones, and she wanted more um, glass to put in it at other times of the year because she loved the light that came from it, and she wanted a summer scene. So we created this, and I thought I'd share how I created it with you. So today I'm going to show you how to do this. So when I first created that video, I was using our IKEA stand, the ones that we were selling last Christmas. Now they're quite hard to get and we don't even know whether IKEA will be making them again this Christmas. So I decided to have my own made. These are fantastic because they are, um, as you can see, all with LEDs, rather than like seven LEDs um, dug in, the whole strips have LED light in them. They're also, I'm just going to turn it off, in um, plain wood, which means that you can decorate them in whatever colour you want. You can leave them as plain wood if that's your, what you like, or you could paint them in white, or you could stain them in another colour. They're much more versatile for you to use on whatever project you like. We also have them in three different sizes. We have the same size that we had before, which is about 12 inches. We have one which is about two thirds of that. And then we have an, a, a larger one, which is sort of 50 centimetres long. Um, they're coming very reasonable prices and are on our website now. We also at the same time created a little kind of just wooden stands for a, a single layer. These are all single layer guys. They only fit three millimetres of glass in. We may in the future, if you're interested and, and, and say you'd be like, have something like this made um, using uh, a thicker, um, Hole so that you can have it for um, uh, six um, millimeters, but right now these are just three millimeters. And then also, I had made some little uh, mini easels which you can put work on as well, um, which are great for showing kind of work, particularly on stands. Or even I'd love to have this in my house and have a little piece of artwork on it. My kids love this, and I think this will be great addition for workshops in the studio. The kids can create a little painting in glass and then have it with a little artist easel when it's finished. So I would show you it on these wooden stands but it's already gone to its new home so I'm showing you this which was one of our projects we created last Christmas instead. So um, this is fantastic and versatile and we look forward to making many more projects on these stands and then they're now readily available on our website which is tabithasglassemporium.com so now we'll show you how we made this project. So the first thing I did for this project was create a sort of template to just give me an idea of the, what it would look like when it was stacked on top of each other. I then cut those out in, um, in glass. There are four, five layers to this and they're, they're you know, running across the whole width of the project. So they'll be like this. Um, yeah, they're going to have kind of um, straight edges, which I haven't done. Normally I try and kind of taper the edge down, but it's only 30 centimetres long and I want to kind of have the whole, um, the project going the whole way across. So I want to first of all put these in to tack fuse with some powder on. So I'm going to put some powder on these, um, maybe do some scraffito in, add a bit of detail in some of it, um, maybe add a little bit of frit in some of it, and then we'll get these in to just lightly um, tack the fuse, uh, powders on before we then add kind of marini and details.
So here are all the layers. Um, this is how it will look when it's all stacked. And now we're just going to decorate them. Um, yeah, we're just going to decorate them. And uh, we want to put some houses on here and some shells on the beach and some boats. And we'll get them decorated and then we can get them in the kiln. So we've got various different decorations to go on. I'm going to put some hot air balloons in the sky because, you know, we can. We've got them and they can go in. So there's some hot air balloons um, going across the sky up here. I'm also going to put a couple of birds. I mean, I know they're not the same um, size, but I don't think it matters. Um, sometimes you can just see that perspective. The birds are closer um, than the balloons. Um, we're going to paint some trees as well, in fact, so I'm not going to put that. I might actually do them, put the birds. I'm to, yeah, I'm going to change it. I'm going to put the birds on the sea. So, yeah, we'll just leave the, the hot air balloons like this, just, you know, nicely spaced so that they... I feel like they're floating across the sky. Um, on our next hill, we're going to put a little church. Um, we have a lot of little churches around here on hills. They look kind of lovely. So we just made that. This is out of two mil glass. Um, we'll probably paint some kind of windows and doors. And we're just going to put a few of our kind of smaller sheep around. We sell the sheep in the mixed size. But, you know, if you ever really want something in a particular size, we had a guy the other day who was like he wanted certain things in a particular size and we can you know if we're pulling we can always pull them in a, in a size you want um it's not always possible very quickly but we can get it done um so on this layer i'm just going to put some um seashells on the seashore seashore i'm about to say try and start saying we saw she seashells on the seashore Bad idea when you're on camera. Um, I've got the boats down here. Now we've sort of done these already. I'm going to leave them um, as are, just sort of gluing them down. Um, they're very similar to the boats we did um, in the project the other day. Um, I'm not even going to attempt to try and glue that one down while filming, but we've got those. I'm going to put, as I said, some seagulls on the sea, and we've got another one here. This will hold up by three mil fiber paper, so it will be sort of sticking over the edge. It will be very fragile, but luckily it's someone local, so it's a pickup rather than a delivery. So hopefully it'll be fine. And I'm going to put another few seagulls. You see seagulls, you know, skipping across the top of waves um, all the time. Well, I do it when I'm at the sea, not just. So those can go there. Now here we're going to kind of build a, a, some houses. Now I've taken some two mil glass and I'm sort of mitered the bottoms of them because I want to make it feel like it's on a, a hillside. Um, so that the houses are sort of going up the hillside and maybe back down the hillside on the other side. I have one at the top that's... Not... And then we've got little kind of roofs to go on top of them. I'm just trying to find the biggest roof to go on that one. Um, it's a little bit like mushrooms right now. I might have to flatten those off a bit. Um, but I'm going to carry on putting these on. And when we've got them together, then once they're glued on, we're going to just add some um, enamel kind of windows and, and doors. I'm also going to put some... Um, hills just on the back of this one but basically I'll line it up and I know if I use a bit of a sharpie that they need to be kind of up here and in fact I might move these up a little bit um, and so then we will also have a few kind of up here throwing my glass everywhere poking up from behind the hill as well um, with a kind of little rooftops on. And last but not least, we're going to add some little kind of mini flowers down the bottom here, just sort of, it's, you know, it's summer, there are flowers about. So just some flowers. So I'm going to keep adding these items and we can have a look how it's looking when it's done.
So here it is out of the Kilman on its stand. I love this. I think Tina did a great job painting windows um, and doors on the buildings and on the church. I just love it. I think the boats look great. The uh, balloons look great. I just think it's a really happy, happy piece of glass. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Remember, you can get our marini, like our hot air balloons and our um, shells that are on the beach and our little flowers and our boats um, from tabithasglassemporium.com and also our little cheek. And here it is with the light on. How pretty is that on a summer's evening to light your space? One of these beautiful pieces of glass. Remember, if you go to our website, you can sign up to our newsletter and you get so much information from that twice a week. We don't bombard you just a couple of times a week with new products and new YouTube videos that are coming out and also occasionally a nice special offer. So it's worth signing up to. And we have our Facebook group as well. Many inspirational ideas from lots of our contributors there. So go check it out. But until next time, happy fusing.